Hello students welcome back so this is our lecture number 4 of the chapter motion here our first topic is about basic concept of graph and distance time graph for uniform motion now what do you mean by graph a graph is defined as a pictorial representation of information which is a two dimensional drawing showing the relationship between dependent and independent variables okay now what quantity should be taken in x and y axis so the independent variable on x and dependent variable on y axis for example two variables time and distance so we will take time on x axis which is an independent variable so time is an independent variable because it is not affected by any other variable and we will take distance on the y axis which is a dependent variable all right next we will see the distance time graph for uniform motion so now see this is a distance time graph for uniform motion where we will take the scale on x axis 2 cm equal to 5 second all right and on y axis 1 cm equal to 7 meter but before that you must need to know that the abscissa is the horizontal axis and the ordinate is the vertical y axis of a two dimensional standard graph am i clear so on the cartesian plane see this is the cartesian plane so on the cartesian plane the origin is the point of intersection of horizontal and the vertical axis so the coordinates of origin are 0 comma 0 because at this point x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 am i clear all of you now plot the points so here abscissa is this and the ordinate is this now plot the points so after plotting the points and then joining the points we will get a straight line so the graph is a linear graph so we can say that the straight line in the distance time graph shows that the distance is increasing with time right so the body is said to have uniform motion am i clear to you all all right x is finding velocity in distance time graph by slope method and the distance time graph for non-uniform motion now find the velocity of the object in a given graph this is a distance time graph where uh, the points are being plotted and we have to find out the velocity. So velocity equal to slope of distance minus time graph. For example, consider points A and B where x1 equal to 5 and y1 equal to 7 and x2 equal to 10 and y1 equal to 14. Then slope equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So it is s2 minus s1 by t2 minus t1. Here s means it is the distance and t means it is the time. Now put the value and calculate it. So we will get 1.4 meter per second. Therefore the velocity equal to 1.4 meter per second. Is that clear everyone? Okay now next see again find the velocity of the object in given graph. This is also a distance time graph. Here we have to find out the velocity and velocity equal to slope of distance minus time graph so for example here consider points a and b okay there is a slight mistake where x1 should be your 15 and y1 should be your 21 and x2 should be 20 and y2 should be 28 all right then slope equal to s2 minus s1 by t2 minus t1 now by putting the values and calculating it we will get 1.4 meter per second so the velocity is 1.4 meter per second clear everyone see velocity time graph for uniform motion and finding distance traveled by an object in velocity time graph for uniform motion so this is a velocity time graph for uniform motion here on the x-axis we will take the scale 1 centimeter equal to 1 unit and on y-axis 1 centimeter equal to 10 units all right so see here a boy is jumping from point A to B. Okay, so here consider the point B 3 comma 50. So velocity equal to 50 meter per second and time equal to 3 second. So distance up to B equal to velocity into time. So velocity is equal to 50 and time is equal to 3. So 50 into 3 equal to 150 meter. So distance from A to B equal to 150 meter. Next the boy is again jumping from point B to C. So now consider the point C. 6 comma 50 here the velocity equal to 50 meter per second and the time equal to 6 second so now distance up to c equal to velocity into time equal to 50 into 6 equal to 300 meter so distance from a to c equal to 300 meter okay now we have to find out the distance covered by boy from b to c 
so distance equal so equal to distance AC minus distance AB so 300 minus 150 meter equal to 150 meter so from distance B to C equal to 150 meter clear everyone okay now see the velocity time graph for uniform motion by graphical method okay here consider the point B 3 comma 50 and C 6 comma 50 so this B C D E uh, is a rectangle right so the boy is jumping from B to C and the distance covered by boy equal to area of rectangle okay now see here the distance covered by boy from B to C equal to area of rectangle B C D E so equal to now area of rectangle is length into breadth so here breadth equal to 3 second and the length equal to 50 meter so 50 into 3 equal to 150 meter so the distance covered by boy from B to C equal to 150 meter clear everyone now see the velocity time graph for uniformly accelerated motion so the velocity time graph for uniformly accelerated motion so it changes in the velocity of a car at regular intervals of time are given in the table now draw a velocity time graph so here the changes in the velocity of a car at regular intervals of time are given in this table we have to draw a velocity time graph so this is a velocity time graph where we will take the scale on x-axis 1 cm equal to 5 units and on y-axis 1 cm equal to 8 units. Alright, then we will plot the points and after plotting the points and then joining the points we can see that for all uniformly accelerated motion the velocity time graph is a straight line. Right, this is a straight line. So for non-uniformly accelerated motion the velocity time graph can have any shape according to the variation in velocity with respect to time. Okay, now see here the distance travel consider time interval from 10 seconds to 20 seconds. So distance travel between D and C equal to area of ABCD which is equal to area of rectangle AECD plus area of triangle ABE. Now we know that area of rectangle equal to length into breadth and area of triangle equal to half into base into height so in this triangle this is the breadth and this is the length and in this triangle this ae is the base and be equal to height now by putting the values and then calculating it we will get the distance travel between d and c equal to 240 meter all right now we will find the acceleration so acceleration equal to slope of velocity minus time graph now consider points a and B where x1 equal to 10 and y1 equal to 16 and x2 equal to 20 and y2 equal to 32 all right then slope equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 now put the value and then calculate it so we will get 1.6 meter per second square so acceleration equal to 1.6 meter per second square I hope everyone is clear okay students thank you